This road is called the Road of Death. It was used to transport the executed to mass graves. Various sources put the number of people buried here from 100 to 120,000 people. The Bukivnya forest was used as a mass unmarked burial site for five years, from 1937 until 1941. Here, the NKVD, the Soviet secret police, disposed of thousands of executed Soviet citizens. Every day on the eve of the Day of Remembrance of the Victims of Political Repressions, the caretakers of the memorial complex and the relatives of the killed cleaned the unmarked graves. Evgen Vasilyevich Pronyuk. My uncle, Yevhen Proniuk, is the honorable head of the Society for Political Prisoners and the Repressed. He has been sentenced to many years. He was exiled to Alma-Ada. Unfortunately, the members of the Society couldn't come because of their age. In the years before, they came here with their escorts. They couldn't come this year. We are here for them. This is our duty. Each year, more than 10,000 people visit the complex. The caretakers complain that sometimes visitors leave a lot of trash. People left this right in the forest. We don't know for how long it's been laid there, but it's already begun to grow in the earth. Our task is to take this out of the forest. The smell is horrible. I try not to breathe. The area of the memorial complex is around 200 hectares. People divide into groups to cover as much territory as possible. You see, there's the trash left by a person. Do you find a lot like this? Sometimes. There's less this year. That's good. But people still leave trash behind. The number of people executed by the NKVD and buried in Bukivnya graves is still undetermined. Archaeologists and historians have studied only 1.5 hectares of five. The last archaeological excavations took place here in 2012. We have huge work ahead of us. There may be more mass graves. Today, we know that people were executed by shooting in NKVD prisons in Kiev, including the October Palace, Lukyanivka Detention Center, Lipska Street 16, which housed the NKVD Regional HQ in Kiev, and on Volodymyrska Street 33. But there are testimonies of local residents which say that people were executed in the forest as well. But the documents we have do not confirm that. In the first days of May, the memorial complex appealed to relatives of those who were repressed in the 1930s and 1940s, asking them to share documents and photos as they continue to investigate the victims of Stalin's terror in Kyiv.